हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल अस्मास बॉटनी ओके सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द डोमिनेंट एपिस्टेसिस ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एपिस्टेसिस डेफिनेशन दैट व्हाट इज एपिस्टेसिस ओके द एपिस्टेसिस इज वी कैन रिमाइंडर इट शॉर्टली the epistasis what is epistasis epistasis when a gene that is present at a locus and that gene suppress or mask the phenotypic expression of the another gene the second gene that is present on the another locus so and what are what is the epistatic gene and what is the hypostatic gene i have already discussed in the first video of epistasis okay and in that video i have already discussed the two types of epistasis that is the uh, dominant epistasis and the recessive epistasis and the two types the differences between these two types diagrammatically basically i have already discussed okay so in this video we will discuss about the dominant epistasis particularly and the cross which is based upon this dominant epistasis not recessive epistasis that we will discuss so listen so first of all the word the term is dominant epistasis so we can use we can understand the definition of this dom dominant epistasis by, by its name okay easily so the name is dominant epistasis so first of all the dominant word is coming so the dominant means what dominant allele okay and dominant allele of which gene the epistatic gene that's why the word is coming the epistasis so the dominant allele of epistatic gene is doing the work of epistasis the suppression work okay so the definition is when the dominant allele when the dominant allele of the epistatic gene mass or suppress the phenotypic expression of the hypostatic gene this process is known as the dominant epistasis okay so dominant allele is involved in the epistasis process not the recessive allele that's why we will uh, give this process the name that is the dominant epistasis not the recessive epistasis okay so here this dominant allele of epistatic gene masks the phenotypic expression phenotypic you know only phenotype is affected not the genotype genotype is independently okay and phenotypic expression is suppressed of the hypostatic gene and what are the hypostatic and epistatic gene the epistatic gene the epistatic gene is the gene which is doing which is responsible for the suppression of the another gene and the hypostatic gene is the gene which is suppressed which can't express because of the suppression by the epistatic gene okay i have already discussed so in this dominant epistasis process the dominant allele of the epistatic gene is involved okay then the cross and the cross this is the cross is done in the fruit coloring pumpkin the pumpkin uh, which is uh, the botanical name of this pumpkin is the cucurbita pepo which is belong to the family cucurbitaceae okay and in this the fruit color of the pumpkin character is taken so in this the fruit color pumpkin in pumpkin uh, character is responsible the two genes which are responsible for controlling this character are the gene 1 and the gene 2 okay so so gene 1 is the hypostatic gene and gene 2 is the epistatic gene okay so and there there will be some limitations of this epistatic gene in this the dominant epistasis is present so the epistatic gene have only the dominant epistatic allele the recessive allele of this epistatic gene is not epistatic okay so the 
gene one have the two alleles first is the dominant allele that is the capital y and which is responsible for the color yellow and the small y is recessive allele which is responsible for the green color and the gene two the epistatic gene has, has the two alleles the capital w which is dominant which is responsible for the white color and this recessive allele this small w is not producing any phenotype and it is not epistatic also it is not epistatic okay so only this this allele this dominant allele capital w of this epistatic gene is doing the work of separation okay so that's why the process is known as a dominant epistasis what is it is doing this dominant allele of this epistatic gene do the separation of this complete gene 1 okay listen carefully this complete gene 1 means the both the alleles of this gene 1 the dominant allele and the recessive allele are suppressed by this dominant allele of the gene 2 not anyone both so this process is known as the dominant epistasis okay so now the cross which is based on this dominant epistasis that we will discuss so in the cross you can see the two parents are taken from which the both are homozygous the one parent have the phenotype of the white fruit plant okay and the second parent have the green fruit plant and you can see in this first parent the yellow color producing the capital y dominant allele of the gene 1 is present but the fruits are still white in color why because of the pres the presence of this capital w the dominant allele of the epistatic gene that is the epistatic allele okay so this epistatic allele capital w suppress the expression of this yellow color dominant allele of the gene 1 so the yellow color fruits are not produced the fruits are white in color so in the further you can see in the any genotype when the capital w that is the dominant allele of the gene 2 the epistatic gene is present then the phenotype of this genotype is always white okay because this capital w is more powerful and it suppress the two alleles dominant and recessive of the another gene okay then you can see here then produce the gametes in the f1 generation you can see here also the white fruits are produced because this capital W is present which is the epistatic allele. Okay. And here this capital Y is suppressed by this recessive allele and also by this capital W. So the plants have the fruits that are white in color. Then we will do the selfing. You know the selfing and after uh, form the gametes and then we will form the checkerboard the punnett square you can see in the punnett square you must remember one thing that in any genotype when capital w that is the epistatic allele epistatic allele the dominant allele of the epistatic gene is present then the phenotype must be white in color okay so the most you can see this green color uh, i have used the green color for the w w means this is the phenotype this is a white for showing it, okay so this white color fruits are more in number why because of the presence of this capital w and the four situations are there where the yellow and green fruits are yellow and green fruits are present three situation when the yellow fruits and only one when the green so here you can see yellow because here you can see the capital w is absent the dominant allele of epistatic gene is absent and here also absent you can see here also absent here also absent okay and here also absent 
and here this green color is produced because the yellow color producing allele is absent. So the in the F2 generation phenotypic ratio you can see it is 12 is to 3 is to 1, 12 white more in number okay and 3 yellow and 1 green fruits are produced. So this phenotype is deviated from the Mendel's dihybrid cross ratio that is that 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio is remaining same this is okay. So this is the deviation that's why it is known as a dominant epistasis. So okay I hope you understood and stay tuned for the next videos and in the next videos we will discuss about the recessive epistasis and the differences between the dominance and the epistasis and the differences between the inhibitory gene interaction and the epistasis. Okay, so stay tuned for the next videos and if you like the videos, press the like button and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel Asmas Botany and press the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you.